Hi, hello everyone. Um, welcome to this how-to that shows you how to populate the tree view control from database table. I don't know if this is the best way to do it. I don't know if there is uh, a wizard that uh, or uh, a binding option that allows you to fill the tree view. Anyway, uh, check this example and I hope it will be useful for you guys. So first thing to, you need to do is uh, you have uh, to have a table that contains the tree structure. Now this is uh, this is a database file and it contains a, a table called a tree. Now each uh, the node field is the primary key here. Okay, so when when you create the table in design, you right click this one and select the primary key. Okay, and there is the node name and the parent node. So here I fold some information. A is the root node and it's called first and of course since it's root it doesn't have a parent. B and C which is the second and third node share one common parent which is A. D is having a par uh, parent B. Okay and E is having a parent D and so on. Anyway so after you create this table and you uh, following its information uh, you can close it okay now uh, I have this visual basic application first thing I need to do and uh, this is because I'm running Windows 64-bit uh, I need to change the compile options so that I don't get an error okay target CPU 86 and okay now I am gonna add a data source to the project I come here click here I'm gonna add a database select a new connection uh, this is a little bit different I'm getting this window if you get this window uh, you just uh, press change you are supposed to get something like this okay so here Microsoft access database file uh, uh, press OK press browse okay select the database file on desktop press open uh, test your connection you should get a success okay okay next uh, now the wizard is asking you if you want to embed the database in the project click yes so that you can embed it this is the name of the connection string next you are gonna add the tables uh, or actually the table tree and finish okay so now you get the table here in your project now, uh, first thing before we can use, uh, to, uh, or actually in order to make things easy for us and use the services of the wizard, uh, click on the tree, drop it on the form. Okay. Now, uh, when you drop this on the form, it's going to create a data set and binding, uh, and binding uh, data source, etc., that you can access. After adding these you may delete these okay so all in all you still keep the uh, table adapter three table adapter and so on okay uh, you will need these because uh, to access the tree uh, table okay now go to the toolbox uh, we are gonna add a tree view here okay and we are gonna add a button okay let's call it fold the tree or fold the tree okay so now in order to fold the tree you need to write a method usually a recursive method I already written the method okay to make things faster here so uh, I'm gonna add uh, the method here you can just modify the code over here and also you call this one I'll explain the code right away okay uh, we need to do an import over here for uh, the data um, okay so you add this import now first of all 
uh, the method works like uh, the button works like this you open the connection to the database if there are any previous content in the tree view you are gonna clear it and finally you are gonna fill the tree view by uh, by entering the first parent node here and passing nothing okay here uh, this is the the key of the parent node this is the text you want to appear for the parent node and finally uh, after following that you you will you will close the connection now this is the method the method receives the three parameters the key the text the node that you want to uh, to f um, that might have children or you are working with so first time you get a nothing here so what the method is is doing here it is checking if n is nothing which means if there is no node before this would be the parent node so you are gonna create the node and you are gonna remember it in the nn variable okay otherwise you are gonna use the node okay uh, sorry uh, you, you are uh, you are gonna use the node and add a child node to it okay after that for the current node that you have just processed you are gonna execute this select statement this select statement uh, this select statement uh, is used to get <coughs> the children of the current node okay uh, so here you you are you are you will do the uh, you are gonna execute the same method on the children okay in other words if you're starting from node a you are getting the children uh, you are you will add a and you will get the children of a which are b and c and then for each one of these you are gonna repeat the same operation you will have to do it in recur with the recursion okay I hope this will be obvious and uh, now let's test this one so let's run the application here and there we go press follow tree you can see first have second and third you can open this one it says fourth and so on okay uh, this is how we do it I hope this tutorial will be useful for you guys um, if you modify your table you, uh, it, it's easy you just modify the name of the table here uh, this would be the name of the column here uh, it's pr pretty much uh, the same principle it's, it's not difficult to do uh, all you need is this recursive method okay with extra work you, you you can even get rid of of this one and make your application identify the root node for you okay so uh, this is all for this how-to um, if you have any comments uh, send them to me uh, also check out the website for tutorials and other how to thank you have a nice day